hi everyone so in uh, the previous video I shown you that uh, how to make a build using uh, maven archetype okay so now as we executed the command uh, maven uh, this command I will show you again mm, oh it's not appearing but uh, we executed command maven clean install fund my p auto install package okay so now I should go back to my AM environment and I should check whether my project has been successfully installed or my content is appearing inside admin or not so let's go to as you can see build is successfully uh, executed okay so I will go to my local environment that is site admin okay so I will just refresh it and uh, here you can see that a folder has been created like demo training and uh, two sample pages also have been created by that archetype okay so if you click on uh, any of the pages then uh, you should see some of the content should come here okay so now you can see that um, these are some uh, default components which uh, is a part of your archetype like this uh, component hello world component is also part of my uh, sample project structure which has been created by archetype okay so now it shows that uh, your content has been successfully deployed by the command okay you, so you can uh, go to your crx delight you can check whether your project is coming whether your uh, content is coming or CSS and everything is coming which was part of it, your archetype project structure okay so you just go to apps just refresh it so you will see that uh, a project has been created name as demo training uh, which we have given the name of apps folder name okay so as you can see here uh, I shown you that apps folder name so we given this name only demo training so a folder structure have been created and all the components configuration templates are here okay so now uh, we have seen we will discuss all these folders uh, later on that uh, what, uh, which folder ex uh, contains which files and uh, what is the use of those files and everything okay so now we have seen that how we can create a project using maven archetype using command line okay so there is another way that uh, in your eclipse you can download a plugin for aem and you can create your uh, you you can create the uh, uh, aem project okay so to do that uh, what we need to do is you just uh, open your eclipse go to eclipse marketplace okay so in the search uh, just type AEM okay Adobe Experience Manager click on search so you will see when uh, plugin is available AEM developer tools for Eclipse 1.1.0 so you will be uh, having one install option as I have already installed it so uh, install option is not coming so you just need to click on install and follow the instruction uh, and uh, just restart your uh, Eclipse after successfully installation of that plugin okay so what you need to do is once you you have started your Eclipse you just go to file then click on new go to other you will see one folder will be appearing uh, in this wizard that would be AEM okay so here you can see one um, option is coming AEM sample multi-module project okay so multi-module project as I um, mentioned that um, while we created our project using that archetype that it created several modules like uh, code like apps content test okay so let me show you again so it created these uh, modules score it launcher test tabs content okay so this is my multi-module project okay so in uh, this plugin it is saying that multi-module project I will just click on next okay so in this uh, wizard you can see that you can select any of the archetypes here okay so for, uh, my eclipse is not supporting these two archetypes archetypes 10 and 11 and 12 
okay it's giving me uh, some errors so i am uh, using archetype 10 so there is some basic difference between these archetypes like in archetype 12 you will be having some extra functionalities which is supported by m6.3 like editable templates and many more so i am selecting archetype 10 okay you just need to click on next you need to provide the name here so i will provide demo project I can keep any group ID as I said these are two mandatory attributes which we need to predefined organization dot demo project then demo project okay you just need to click on advance then other properties will come by default as I said earlier that artifact ID should be same as apps folder name content folder name it's a best practice to have the unique names for sorry to have the same name for artifact ID apps folder name content folder name and CSS IDs and all okay so once you verify this information you just need to click on next okay so if you want to deploy your code on your server if you're uh, have if you're uh, running your uh, am on 4502 then uh, you can directly uh, select this option for the time being i'm not deploying on the server directly i will uh, execute uh, i will uh, deploy my code uh, using maven uh, using command prompt so uh, for the timing i'm selecting the option do not deploy on a server click on finish so now it is creating my project structure it will take couple of minutes so let's wait yeah as you can see here that now it has created the same structure which we created using maven archetype okay so um, so now we have seen uh, the two ways by which you can create your maven uh, your ahim projects Thank you so much for uh, 